Ah, wait. It is time for the annual Reluctant Christmas video. And for that, we have Alpha Strike issue 105. This year, I will not dwell on how I didn't celebrate Christmas because I am lonely. And instead, I'll jump straight into this surprisingly entertaining Christmas comic. I am not a big fan of... Actually, I'm just not a fan at all of corny Christmas shit. The schmaltzy schlock sort of Christmas specials. My favourite Christmas movie of all time is not Die Hard, because that is an answer boring people who think they are being unique give. My favourite Christmas movie of all time is Jingle All The Way, because its crass consumerist message is more what Christmas is than all that lovey-dovey, feel-good, Get a blind kid a present shite. There is a bit of that in this issue, but the rest of it is kind of decent. Our story is framed around the Bachelor and Bachelorette parties of two Alpha Strike members, Diamond Little and Box. Where do they get their crazy names from? And these parties are also by chance on Christmas Eve. Now here is something truly strange when it comes to comics. We have an entire issue here based on their bachelor and bachelorette parties. But we never see their wedding. That manages to happen off panel. I was also gunning the question why they invited Sabreclaw Jr., who only joined the team two issues again, and who spent the first 100 issues of the series considered a bad guy. But we have some truly festive gaslighting gunning on here. Box... He chooses Sabreclaw Jr. to be his best man because, unbeknownst to us, and after no hint of this whatsoever, it turns out that the two of them were really tight friends before Sabreclaw Jr. went evil. The writer of this, Scott Lowball, I want to give him some credit for writing a Christmas issue I didn't despise. But the Demon Sabreclaw Jr. was his thing, and I like that. I think it is a good direction, and it adds a solid character to the cast. But shite like this, I cannot praise. This is bad writing to try and gain... Yeah, well, Sabreclaw Jr., he wasn't always evil. This is going way too far with trying to validate Sabreclaw Jr. and his new redemption arc. Page here, which is a subplot scene setting up an issue that I have already reviewed. The one with... The Zumba Bride Woman and Alpha Strike all wearing excellent men uniforms. I might reread that one. I can't remember if I liked it or not. Then we have the Bachelorette Party. And this serves the purpose of reminding the reader that there are significantly less women on Alpha Strike than there are men. They could have at least called in some of the 
ex-members. I bet Purple Girl would be heaps of fun on her endo. The strength of this issue is we get little downtime beats for the characters. And this one here somewhat acts as an omen for Northman coming out of the closet next issue. He overhears some homophobia in the pub. Some blokes calling some other men fruitcakes. So he uses his super speed to embarrass the homophobes by kegging them. Next issue, Northman tells the world he is gay. One thing that remains a bother is Aurora Borealis. After the issue just before this was meant to reset or fix Aurora Borealis and her having about seven different personalities in her head. With this issue, we have no idea what personality she has off the time and the other half you're not sure what the last issue was meant to be accomplishing you know that scene in robocop 3 where a man gans into a donut shop to rob it and he walks in and he's like oi this is a old up and then it turns out the donut shop is filled with policemen. It's like the only moment of comedy in Robocop 3. And we kind of have that scene here because a guy comes into the bar to rob it. But it is filled with superheroes on a stag do. So it doesn't go well for them. And with this robber we get... The lame Christmas stuff. He cannot afford a nice Christmas for his family. So he was going to rob this pub. An alpha strike take pity on him. And decide to help him give his kids a nice Christmas. Ew, horrible. The real star of this issue is coming up though, because Aurora Borealis, who as I said is confusing to understand in this issue, she starts touching and kissing one of the strippers and you know what, I am going to give some of the most lefty props ever to this comic. There are no female strippers. The men just gone for a pint. But the women. We get to see plenty of male strippers. I think that is tremendous for a comic from the tail end of 1991. And rather than stripper women ganning up and down the pool. We get... The Return of Pink Pearl. I have reviewed the issue that introduced the Alpha Strike 22. And Pink Pearl is one of those terrible characters that are endearing in how terrible they are. She is a morbidly obese woman. That is her entire thing. In the original story, she was an evil circus woman. But in this, she has become a bouncer at the strip club. And honestly, I think this is a quality return. This is a character who by rights should never have appeared again. She is... She is like a sub-Little Britain character... She doesn't deserve any more issues about her. But this is the perfect way to bring her back without 
her being annoying. She has this bit part in an issue, and it actually feels like a welcome return. It is a clever use of an art character that nobody would have lost sleep if they never saw again. Here, the girls have a short fight with her as the boys date some cheesy all mark shite. And then Northman he gans to bed and when he wakes up the next day he will announce to the world that he is gay. That rhymes. We have a pin-up here of the lasses enjoying a stripper, Finn. I actually write Finn on my notes for when it is time to close the comic. Listen, I hate Christmas. I'm not a Scrooge about it. I just wish Christmas didn't exist. I'm like the polar opposite of that I wish it could be Christmas every day song. I think, other than the cover, which is charming, the Christmas parts of this issue are the worst parts. But those are quite a small part of the full picture. I mostly like the rest. It is a nice downtime issue. And it brought back Pink Pearl. And it had Northman pull men's trousers down. Seven thumbs up.